Hi, welcome back to my channel. Huh? What happened to me? Oh, don't worry. This is my Halloween costume. I'm wearing this for our Halloween party later. Well, anyway, as you've requested. I invited Nezuko, Tanjiro Kamado, and the other cast of Kimetsu no Yaiba to help us in our today's lesson. You can always request an anime that you want me to invite as a guest for our succeeding lessons. Just visit the community tab of our channel and comment your suggestions to my current post there. In our previous lesson, we learned about the different types of sentences according to structure. If you fail to watch our video about it, I put its link in the description box below. By the way, I would like to ask a small favor to you. In order for me to sustain the growth of this channel, please do not skip the ads that will appear in my videos. Thank you for always supporting my hard work in making my video lessons. Please complete watching our videos up to its end. I always add some activities and seat works at the end part of my videos to help you master the lesson that we are discussing. I also add at the end of the video all the shoutouts as my appreciation for your comments in my videos. Before we proceed to our lesson for today, please like this video as your support to my channel. You can also share this video to your friends, share the happiness, and most importantly, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet to my channel and hit the notification bell for you to be always updated to new lessons that I will upload here in my channel. For starters, let's have a spelling. I want you now to get a pen and paper. I'll give you 20 seconds to prepare yourself. Spelling number one, spell the word assistant. An assistant is a person who helps in particular work. Example, having an assistant in the office really makes the manager's life more easier. Two, spell the word independence. Independence means the fact or state of being independent. Example, the Philippine Declaration of Independence, Filipino translation it's Pagpapahayag ng Kasarinlan ng Pilipinas, Spanish translation it's Declaration de Independencia de Filipinas was proclaimed on June 12, 1898 in Cavite, El Viejo, present day known as Kawit Cavite, Philippines. 3. Spell Grasshopper Grasshopper is a plant-eating insect with long hind legs that are used for jumping and for producing chirping sound. Example, there are 11,000 known species of grasshopper on earth that live in grassy areas such as fields, meadows, forest, and woodland. 4. Spell Meadow Meadow is a piece of grassland, especially one used for hay. Example, we saw cows eating grass in the meadow. And then last, number 5, spell the word Omnivore. Omnivore is an animal or person that eats food of both plant and animal. Example, animals such as dogs, Rats, squirrels, bears, pigs are examples of omnivores. Now, let's check your work. Here's the answer key for our spelling. Done checking? Then, let's move on. A coordinating conjunction is a word that joins ideas together. They can join words, phrases, and clauses. The best way to remember the coordinating conjunctions is by using the acronym FANBOYS and it stands for FOR, AND, NOR, BUT, OR, YET, AND SO. FOR explains reason or purpose, just like because. Example, Nezuko shrinks to a physical size of a child for she needs to fit herself inside a small box. The coordinating conjunction FOR tells us the purpose why Nezuko needs to shriek herself and adds one thing to another. Example, they already ride the train and Kyojuro Rengoku is sitting at the other side of it. The coordinating conjunction AND tells us that aside from Tanjiro's group, Rengoku is also riding in the train. 
nor is used to present an alternative negative idea to an already stated negative idea. Example, neither Tanjiro nor Rengoku knows that a lower rank one demon is also riding on the train. No one among them knows about Enmu, so I use the coordinating conjunction nor, but shows contrast, difference from something else. Example, Zenitsu Agatsuma tells Inosuke Ashibara to calm down, but Inosuke chooses him instead. The coordinating conjunction but in this sentence tells us that Inosuke's reaction is different to what Zenitsu is expecting from him. Or presents an alternative or a choice. Example, will Rengoku beat the demons or will the demons slaughter everyone in the train? Either of them might win against each other so I use the coordinating conjunction or. To avoid confusion between the use of nor and or, take note that nor used in the negative while or is used to connect different possibilities. Nor is usually used after the word neither, while or is used after the word either. Yet introduces a contrasting idea that follows the preceding idea logically, similar to but. Example, the train already starts moving fast, yet Inosuke still wants to jump out of the train. The coordinating conjunction yet in this sentence tells us that logically, Jumping out of a moving train is a bad idea. So indicates effect, result, or consequence. Example, Tanjiro believes that Musan's blood can cure Nezuko, so he keeps on looking for him. The coordinating conjunction so tells us that the result of Tanjiro's belief is his action of looking for Musan. Remember that coordinating conjunction connects ideas together, and these coordinating conjunctions are fanboys, for, and, nor, but, or yet so okay let's go now let's have an activity for your today's activity you're going to read the following sentences carefully then choose the coordinating conjunction used in each sentence i'll give you a minute and during this activity if the time is not enough for you you may pause this video Time's up! Here's the answer key in our today's activity. For me to know if you really learned in our today's lesson, let's have a seat work. For your today's seat work, you are going to choose the letter of the appropriate coordinating conjunction to complete each sentence. I'll give you two minutes to do the seat work. If the time is not enough for you, you may pause this video.
time's up. Let's check your work. Here's the answer key for our today's seat work. All set. I hope you've learned a lot in our today's lesson. I hope that now you know coordinating conjunctions. I will now go and attend our Halloween party. But before that, as my means of showing my gratitude and appreciation to all of your comments in my videos, I would like to post a shout out to the following people. Thank you for all of your encouraging and positive comments. Your comments are important to me. By the way, the sole purpose of me making video lessons like this is to help children be able to study at home. So in order for this video to reach as many children at home as possible, please share this video to your friends. And again, to help me be encouraged in making video lessons like this, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell as well so that you will always be updated to new lessons that I will upload here in my channel. Thank you and see you in our next video. Bye-bye!